David, you ask a very interesting question because we live in the so-called digital age. Everything is digital, digital TV, digital information, everything is digital. It's, it's the sexy word of the day. However, as you pointed out, analog has actually more information. You lose information by going from analog to digital. So then the obvious question is, why bother? If you lose information going from analog to digital, then why bother to make this multi-billion dollar conversion? All our equipment, television, radio, being converted from analog to digital. Why? Well, here's how it works. An analog signal is nothing but a squiggle with lines can, being, can take any, any number between, let's say, zero and one. Digital only breaks things up into zeros and one and nothing in between. So if I take a curve like this, and then break it up into zeros and ones, obviously I lose information in the process. So what do I gain? I've got to gain something back. And what I gain is enormous. Because once everything is reduced to zeros and ones, zeros and ones, it means I can copy. Copy the original wave with no errors. If I have a wave like this, and I ask you to make a copy of it, well, it's quite difficult. I get tracing paper. I get a pencil and paper and I try to trace it out. And then if you make a copy of a copy, you lose more information. For example, take a Xerox and make a Xerox of a Xerox. And then make a Xerox of a Xerox of a Xerox. After a while, the paper becomes almost white because each time you Xerox something, you lose information. But now take zero and one and make a copy. You get zero and one. Make another copy. You get zero and one. Make a billion copies and you still get zero and one. Not only that, you can also massage the signal. You can play with it, accentuate things, uh, bring out certain low frequencies, high frequencies. You can play with it. While analog, you lose information each time. Now think about it. This interview here is taking place in a studio where my image is being transferred optically to a silicon chip, and then sent over the web, and then download it into your PC. How many reproductions took place? I don't know, 10, 15 reproductions? If that was an analog signal, by the time you see my image, it'd be all blurry. But complements of digital, you see it crisp and sharp every single time. So to answer your question, we do lose information going from analog to digital, but what we gain is enormous. The ability to copy without error, the ability to manipulate and that's why we call it the digital revolution.